So, Manipal has 51 percent and uh, pharmaceutical company Sipla has 49 percent stake in Stemputics. Yes, you are right. So, when did you know Sipla come in and what is that Sipla brings into uh, you know Stemputics yeah. as strengths? As we went along in developing the product, we felt that um, in 2009, uh, we went into a strategic alliance with Sipla. We are looking for a strong uh, pharmaceutical company who can take this product to the market and also that um, also help us okay, in terms of the product development uh, cycle, what we are, what we are currently doing it in Stemputics. So, so we were looking for a good partner and, um, and uh, Sipla also was looking in terms of um, diversifying okay, currently what they are doing and uh, both of us um, uh, felt that yes each other that um, there is a good value systems and um, also Sipla is keen on the, in the biotech side. So, they invested money in 2009 and continue to invest uh, money now and uh, so they help us in terms of how these products what we are currently developing how we can take it to the market for example, stump yourself drug. So, uh, once it is approved, it will be marketed through Sipla and Sipla has got a very good network in terms of um, dealing with the doctors and uh, infrastructure that they what they have in terms of going to the uh, throughout India and also they are present in many countries, more than 180 countries they are present, they are present. So, we can leverage those strengths what they have and, um, and in that context they bring a lot of value, one is on the manufacturing side, other one is uh, going to the market and of course financial benefits. See when it comes to a new drug you know introducing for the first time in the global market what we normally see is that you know it is one out of several thousands you know uh, it is uh, one of the rarest thing that happens in when it comes to pharmaceutical you know, biotech uh, you know uh, science research. So, it seems in your case everything has been going right you know one product, one research you know you, you are seeing success after success seems a bit difficult to you know really believe uh, that things can happen so easily you know. Uh, so, is there any explanation um, to allay my you know doubts? No, we have struggled a lot. See, if you see we started in 2006 almost 7 years over and, um, and 8 years getting over and uh, we are thinking that our drug will go to the market sometime next year. So, it is not that um, we started in 2006 and the drug uh, has come out uh, within few years. So, generally people take about 10 years to uh, write from this uh, from the research to, to the market and uh, here we almost taken about 8 to 9 years to go through the cycle and then uh, come with the drug. So, it is not an, uh, an, uh, an easy or um, job or the experience what we had. So, we had first time when you approved for clinical trial, it took about 18 months to get an approval for clinical trials because uh, even the government were uh, not clear in terms of stem cells a drug or not. So, we went through the hardship, we said that whatever we do, we will go as per the regulatory guidelines, we will not uh, unless we have an approval, we will not go through that uh, clinical trial. So, we went through that hardships, we waited, we are um, burned lot of money and uh, we found that um, we thought that we can go to the market much faster. But still, it took almost about 8 to 9 years and uh, just now we are applying and we are hoping that things will move faster. How much money have you put in as of now? We have uh, already spent more than 150 crores, okay, around 160, 170 crores. This includes crores. the uh, investments that you made in Malaysia also? It includes the, uh, the investment made in Malaysia also. Why right. Malaysia? Why did, why did you know you choose Malaysia as uh, one of the the other country that you should you know have parallel trials or parallel Yes, uh, Manipal is well known in Malaysia okay. you know that Manipal is strong in education, Manipal is well known in, in Malaysia and they have a medical college in Malaysia and most of the doctors there are Manipal alumni. If you take uh, 25 percent doctors in Malaysia, they are, they are from, uh, from the Manipal medical college. So, one is uh, Manipal is well known and uh, second one is um, they they had a very good uh, biotech policy where they give lot of incentives for example uh, no need to pay income tax for 10 years from the date you start manufacturing the, the product uh, manufa uh, the day you start generating revenue so there are somewhat industry friendly kind of a policy what they uh, what they had and uh, we thought that okay we will go there and venture into malaysia Okay, so there are two other brands which you mentioned. You know the Stembutron, 
uh, and uh, Stempu Care. Right. So, if you could, you know, talk about these two uh, products. One, as you said, is a cosmetic yes. product, and the other one is a medical device. So, yeah. I, you know. so our flagship is Stempu Cell, our drug, where we have spent uh, a lot of money on uh, developing the drug. Uh, Stempu Care is um, what it came out about uh, about two or three years back that um, the uh, uh, we saw that the medium which we are using to culture the cells has got a um, lot of growth factors in cytokines and um, our scientist um, was telling me Manor we can convert this because uh, stem cell secretes a lot of growth factors in cytokines and that's so a it's sort of a byproduct it is uh, it started as a byproduct but now we have made it an independent product because um, ultimately we had to produce as a cost effective um, uh, cosmetic uh, product so it is a totally an, um, an independent process so stempu care is an uh, is an um, cosmetic cream a topical application mainly for uh, skin rejuvenation or uh, for the skin health addressing uh, mainly uh, it is an anti aging cream so we characterized the condition medium and uh, did a lot of R&D work in terms of um, the uh, anti-aging effects as well as anti-wrinkles. So we saw good results coming out okay, with the uh, human uh, fibroblast skin in the lab. And ultimately it went through uh, uh, the development life cycle and, um, and uh, we saw very good effects both in, um, in the lab as well as on the preclinical side. And uh, then we did a quick uh, kind of an, uh, human study, uh, irritation, uh, what that uh, patch irritation test to see whether it has got any side effects. And after that we applied and uh, we got the approval to market this, uh, this product in India. And, um, and we are planning to market it shortly through Cipla. So this is the first, uh, this is the first um, anti-aging biotech cream and um, this part of the world and approved by the, uh, by the Indian FDA. And, um, and we also completed a, a consumer study where the ladies are happy in terms of the uh, outcomes that uh, lines and wrinkles is, um, is um, improving, statistical significance within a month and uh, firmness of the skin improving and um, the tone and also the dark spots. So a lot of, a lot of benefits. So five distinctive benefits in the screen. And How big uh, is this market? Cosmetic uh, market is very big. If you see the premium segment of this thing, it's about uh, 600, 700 crores kind of um, market right now in India, which, but it is uh, growing at about uh, 16 to 70% uh, growth. Globally, it's, uh, it's, it's a very big multi-billion dollar business and uh, based on the approval what we got in India, we went to Malaysia and uh, we filed our application and the Malaysian government also approved our product. So we are planning to market the, the, the the product will be manufactured in India, will be exported. First biotech cream once again getting exported. So marketed in, in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So doing well and, um, and uh, we'll continue our research and see that whether we can come with um, other uh, cosmetic products like, uh, like hair growth. So um, this is the product which will go to the market uh, shortly. And the medical device. The medical device, um, is it anywhere close to uh, commercialization or it's, it's about it's about a year okay it can go to the market sometime next year and uh, once again and, um, all our products are very innovative for example stempu cell our drug so we have filed many patents and uh, which is unique and filed uh, patents across uh, across uh, many countries same thing stempu care our cosmetic cream once again is patented. You, you said you have filed patents or you have been granted patents? Uh, Stempu cell we have filed and we got patents only from two countries so far. Which India is and? No, not India, New Zealand and South Africa. Okay. India we had to get, hopefully should get uh, sometime end of this year and maybe next year. And um, in another about six to eight months time period, we will have approval from many countries. Okay. It is an advanced stage because uh, they keep questioning in terms of uh, uniqueness, inventiveness and uh, see that we are different compared to other products. Stempu cell, we have filed the patent. Uh, Stempu care, we have filed the patent. And Stempu Tron is a an, is an, uh, is an medical device, uh, something different compared to Stempu cell, which we call as an uh, on demand, off the shelf, which you can go to anybody. So, this is meant for autologous application. So, what I meant by autolo autologous application is the, uh, the donor and the recipient, they are same. So, here we take the fat uh, from the patient. 
and, um, and put the fat into the device. And the device gives the stem cells within a period of two hours and this stem cell is injected back to the patient. So all happens on the same day. And, um, and uh, there are multiple applications. The dominant one is on the, uh, on the plastic and uh, cosmetic surgery side where, um, where uh, they use fat engraftment been there for a long time. But the fat engraftment today does not give that benefit of, uh, of uh, the engraftment or the augmentation what the doctor is looking for. But if they use our device and enhance the fat, you take one liter of fat from the, uh, from the patient, you keep half liter separate, remaining half liter you put into the device and the device will wash and uh, give these stem cells within two hours. You mix that stem cell with the original fat which becomes an enriched fat and if you inject the enriched fat, it does a marvelous job. Any contour defects or breast augmentation, breast reconstruction, everything works much better compared to the currently available uh, kind of therapy which is uh, silicon implant, saline implant, derma rollers, all these things are external bodies. It has got its own side effects. So here it's a, it's a, it's a natural, biological, it should give much better benefits. What is the uniqueness of this uh, device? Compared to our competitors, once again, uh, this is the first time a robotic arm has been deployed. Okay, first time a device having a robotic arm that in the stem cell side, which does the entire job. And we use uh, a filtration technique instead of a normal conventional centrifuge. Here we use the filtration technique, and uh, designed by us. And uh, the robotic arm, which does the entire job, so making the device uh, almost tubeless, no pumps, no tubes almost, so that the reliability of the device is much better, plus the flexibility in terms of handling the uh, different volumes of fat, which can be used for once again for multiple applications. So here also we have filed multiple patents and um, uh, design patents as well as uh, technical patents in India and other countries. And they, we have got four design patents have been granted in India to us. And compared to our computers, this device will cost uh, much uh, lesser, more cost effective. We are expecting around $50,000 is the, the price of the device compared to more than one crore what the other computers and it cost. Plus the cost of consumables. For every patient, we have to change the consumable and that also will be much lesser compared to our computers. And the therapy is uh, more natural, much better. Okay. So, you know, um, you had any technology uh, partners, any R&D partners? Because looks like you know medical device is probably is not an area which would naturally come to. Yeah, that's right, and uh, I understand. I mean, what you're asking, and um, generally um, the uh, medical device innovation is dominated by multinational companies. I mean, as you are aware, I think there are only few companies you can name it developing a medical device uh, uh, from scratch. I think we are the one of the companies that do in the stem cell area. We are looking for a strategic partner okay who can um, help us but throughout the development phase no everything was done in house and um, all um, the uh, the novelty or inventiveness everything is developed by our scientists and uh, overall more than 40 patents have been filed and we have published more than about 55 papers international journals and peer reviewed journals and uh, we represent in uh, isscr international society for uh, stem cell research in the us we are the only company been called to represent the society from India and uh, I think uh, there is no other people from, uh, from Reliance, Asia. Reliance Life Sciences? No, 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 no. So only Stamputics from Asia. Yeah. From Asia only Stamputics is representing an ICR and um, our CSO is the Vice President of ISCT, International Society for Cellular Therapy, once again uh, international organizations. So people see the value what um, we are adding and the strength of our science and we firmly believe that um, always uh, science should drive the business rather than the other way and uh, that will help in the long run and we are being recognized internationally and also in India. Okay. So yeah, you got uh, an award I suppose, you know, last year there was some recognition. Yes, we got the Bioexcellence Award in, um, in, uh, in Bangalore and, um, uh, and the government also invited us to be part of uh, some of the committees. So, um, is, is there any department of biotechnology assistance or, uh, you know? Yes, we, uh, of course, we, we um, uh, first time we got an approval for the clinical trials, our 
funding from the Department of Biotechnology for, uh, for doing a phase 2 trial in India. Was it uh, done in any of the DBT institutions or any? Uh, we do in government hospitals, okay, as part of the whole trial. And, um, and uh, of course, we are seeing, seeking still more help. We got help in uh, clinical trials. We have got help in some other research work, once again funded by DBT, to see that further. For example, we can have a good science, and if we, if we need to commercialize, we need to have the technology to commercialize. How we can produce uh, large-scale um, uh, expansion, or large-scale upscaling of stem cells, so that uh, ultimately the therapy becomes more affordable. In that context, we got some grant even from uh, from DBT. Okay, so maybe you know. Uh, the last and uh, always the usual question would be to see, you know, how um, you are seeing your company you know, two years down the line. Once the commercialization happens, you know, what is what is the revenue potential that we are looking at? How big, you know, is the business opportunities going ahead? I think we are in an um, in an uh, what do you call this? Is inflex point. I mean, um, where um, whatever uh, the hard work our team has done, my team has done. Yes, uh, I mean likely to see some good results in the next uh, two years time period. Stempu cells will go to the market and uh, Stempu care cosmetic cream will hit the market and uh, definitely the device also will, uh, will, uh, will get introduced. So um, that gives some kind of a strong belief that yes, I mean whatever uh, we, have, um, we have developed, I mean uh, which we can feel proud, not only uh, we as a company, India as a country, can feel proud that uh, this is one company where a biologics right from uh, scratch has been developed and coming out and also that um, benchmark uh, globally. It's not that uh, it's an Indian product, it can go to the market. So in that context, um, these products, what has been developed uh, from an R&D company, so uh, we'll be commercializing it, it will go to the market and uh, hopefully we should see a good revenue coming out. So uh, we want to be a VC donor. Like uh, next Infosys, I mean uh, Infosys in IT, we want to see that uh, whether we can be an Infosys in the regenerative medicine area and uh, become a good company. Great, yeah. wish you all the best. Thanks a lot.